Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Wells. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Ho, oh, boom. Weapons company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did! Hi everyone, welcome back to the Patreon series of L.A. Noir. Well, Miss Lichtman, how long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Call needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. Don't mind, Elsa. I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm gonna run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's gonna get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? 
That's an interesting job interview, wasn't it? I've never quite seen that before. But Kelso's in demand, it would seem. Ah, and we're fully recovered. Brilliant! Well, a little bit bashed and bruised, but we're okay. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Might be the only R and R I get for some time. I'm going to stand uncomfortably close. Is that okay? We don't have to talk. We'll just share the moment. Oh. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Anyone in here? Oh, there is something. Ding ding. A glass. I think it's nothing. Right. Let's, um, I suppose we head out and um, start our investigation. The bathrooms, the treatment room, these these all are locked, right? Okay, let's stop um, wasting time and just head down the stairs and crack on with this investigation then. <sighs> District Attorney Investigator. You can't ignore me for long. Fine. Oh, my car's here. Brilliant. That's good of them to bring it around. Right, let's go and have a look at investigation then. Here we are. Curtis Benson's apartment at 10am. Is the Benson number two? Okay, apartment two. Where's apartment two? Apartment un? Apartment two up here? Apartments two and three? Yep. Yeah. Hello. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me mm -hmm. at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Ooh. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> oh. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Right then. It's a good look he's going for. Let's have a look around then. What have we got here? His music taste. Eddie Wason. Another time and place. Have a little drinky Drew. That'd be absolutely good, wouldn't it? What have we got here? Californian. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I don't know yet. Oh, hello. How old are you, Princess? Sixteen, mister. Oh. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. Oh my god. You take love where you can find it as you get older, Love? Jack. That has nothing to do with love, Curtis! So I find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? 
Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. She will only come back. Oh, she got dressed really quick. <laughs> I've never seen... That's a really um, uncomfortable shot. Uh, uh, anyway, I've never known of a teenage girl to get ready that quickly. <laughs> it's normally hours and tantrums and things crashing in the bathroom. What we got here? Nothing, okay. Can't go out there. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Well, you said that last time, and I found a 13-year-old girl in your apartment, for heaven's sake. I don't know what I expect to find yet, but... Here we go. A heavy horse's head. That'll bash your skull in. Hmm. Ah, finally. <laughs> I found something. Hooray! Suburban Get Redevelopment Fund. Stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. this uh-huh starting to come to it now what exactly do you expect to find Jack insurance agreement I knew you were in bed with a lesion Curtis now I know why you get paid a lot of money hmm ah it's going to the kitchen we haven't been in oh we haven't been down here at all have we Um Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out. Yes, you're you right. Can. That door doesn't open. There's got to be something more. There's got to be something more. Is that nothing? Uh, what am I missing? What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I don't know yet, Curtis. I'm looking. What's outside? Let's have another look at this. Is this something I missed in here, maybe? Capital stocks. So we got the stocks. We got uh, two thousand. Can I turn that one over? Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Hmm. Should we look in the drawers? No. It's just this. Is now? Is there more to it? Now we've looked at that. What else is there? There's still music going on, so I know there's there's not more clues to yet to be found. Okay. Let's talk to him. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Right. Motive for the fraud. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Well, 
he's obviously not comfortable. It could be that I've got a gun and just smacked him across the face, but I'm pretty sure he's lying. Um, Uh, let's use intuition. I'm not sure on this one. Let's um, ask the community. It's a lie. Brilliant. Thanks. I knew that. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Well, you've got those shares, for one. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Right, Suburban Redevelopment. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Well, hmm. It's to make some money out of it. A lie. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. Yes. And how you do are. you prove that, Jack? Uh, the insurance agreement. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Oh. Buck Walter case settlement. Why the big payoff in the Buck Walter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? What would he know? Would he know? Or what can we pin on him? Hmm. We're going to have to doubt that one. Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Ah, oh, I think we can pull the gun out and just pop him off there. That'd be good. Right. That was an interesting development. California, light, fire and life. California Fire and Life. Took us two minutes to get here. That's weird. We turned up at 10 a.m. We did all that around the uh, the apartment and we got here. That's quick. Two minutes. Two minutes, I tell you. I'm just going up to my office party. Got to check over some files. 
Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Uh, sure. Elevator at the back. I see it. I know where the elevator is. I work all the time. This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. Bing bong. Hopefully this isn't some sort of attempt at my life sending me in here. No. Oh, it's, it's the depressing place. First on the right. Yep. Zelensky, that's not us. Englishstrom, huh? Hmm. Lloyd? No. What the hell's my office? Have I been fired already? Oh wait, I could be back here. I'm here. Ah, oh, she did tidy up. Oh, somebody, somebody's been in here with dirty shoes. Look at that. Right, let's have a look. What is it you don't want me to see? What is it you don't want me to see? Thirty-four degrees four minutes twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred eighteen degrees seventeen minutes fifty-eight seconds west. Yeah, I. Don't know what else. There's got to be more in these files. Uh, something else in that report. I know it. Okay, so insured replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Ah, hello. Hello, Phelps. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? Chuck on the shoulder, shout of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Yeah, Cole. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Right. Are you going to stay as Jack? Or is Cole going to be our now avatar? Hall of Records, 10.23am. Or 
Watch out for the pigeons. Nope. We're still Jack. Yeah, I'm quite liking this. I'm liking this. Hello, Hello chap. There. The land registry office. Where is it? Please. Just up the stairs. Thanks. Ah, oh, needs to be rude, is there really? Repair work. Hang on, is this where that chandelier came down? Land registry office. That's so fortunate to have that stamped right there. No. Oh. Apparently it's closed. Ah. Uh. Birth, deaths, and marriages. Oh, that's marriage license department. Okay. Land registry office. Here we go. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Thank you. Oh, you pointed that way out. <laughs> Threw me a dummy. You see that? Where's he got? Oh, there he is. Thought he just disappeared. There's been no man of that description working this library for a long time. It's not a library, but you know what I mean. What are we doing here? Yes? Oh, okay. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Okay. Um, Southern Film Casting, Albert Brookfield, Daniel Travis, Philip J. Holdfast. That's a good name. Holdfast. James Juliet Taylor, Arthur Standing, James Standing, Carl Swanson, John, Ra uh, John Randall, Franklin. Who am I looking for? Who am I looking for? Um, Joseph Wales, Hilton Swan, Michael Spangenberg, or Spangenberg. Um, oh, I tell you what, we're probably looking for still veteran home care. It's this one, isn't it? Those? No? Age or... Oh, I can. Okay, there we go. Um, stop, start, children's toys. Strata lipstick, straight arrow collection. Suburban redevelopment fund. There we go. Leyland Monroe. All these nasties. Sheldon. Courtney. For God's sake. What's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Okay. I love his shiny floor. That is in the Wilshire area. Here. 34 degrees. 4 minutes. 29 seconds north. 118 degrees. 17 minutes. 58 seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. Well, you could do it for me, bud. Entries to a book. So divide your lot number by 90,000. Right, okay. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand yes one eight seven sixty nine eighty eight was it divided by was divided by 
1,876,988 divided by 90,000. Stop talking. This, this is complicated as it is. Or is it equals? Do I need to do the thing? 20. 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? I think it's you. I've just gone through all my hands. Right, you. I bet you all counted on your fingers as well. Let's see what the side is worth to them. Right. Um, so what was it? One eight, eight oh, seven six nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. Randall Jones. Valuation three fifty. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place. The improved value of the property is thirty-five hundred. Ten times. You can make a killing, but how do they pull it off? Oh, it's the boys. You know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys: you do your talking once the smoke clears. Throw out the guns! Yeah. Where are they? He's there! Right there! Kill him! Can I get me that shotgun? Weapons on the ground, now! Q to pick up the shotgun. Okay, hang on. He's got a Tommy. I can see him. That could be the light, of course. I'm gonna put holes in you, asshole. Uh huh. You want me? You got it. Let's get behind here. Ah! Got his butt. Kelso, you're in this side. Hit, do you? Where's the other one? Third time lucky, boys. What's he shooting at? Come on. Okay, he was hiding in the going, Jack. out there. Just the one with the Tommy gun now. No, Kelso, get off that. That's it. Out of ammo. It's alright, we got our sidearm. The shotgun did what it needed to do. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Oh, 
Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Oh, dear. Classic, classic, classic. Poor Courtney. He thought he was doing something good. I genuinely believe that. Kelso's apartment, 6 p.m. Where's my telephone? It's over there. Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was Ooh. wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide. I thought it was 120 years old. Are you haggling with me, Obviously negotiate it well. I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Eh, hey, Jack's awesome, isn't he? Right, Kelsey's apartment, 7 p.m. There's our motor car. Let's head to uh, Leyland Monroe's then. Okay, here we are at the mansion, 11 p.m. Oh, we've got a shot. Oh, hang on. It's not us. Oh, wow. Are they with us or are they against us? They're with us. I appreciate the help, all of you. Oh, thank God. I can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Oh, we're doing a raid on the mansion? Awesome! Come on, boys. Okay, I'll pop this guy. Oh my god, not the statues! Keep your head down! Moving up. I can't see. Somebody's got a VAR. That is awesome. I can't, I can't actually see anyone from here. I doubt my, my gun will be affected from this way. Kelso, move. Get behind the edge. Right. Are we supposed to do this stealthily? I'm not sure. Moving up. Aha, what guns he got? That's a kill. Let's go check out what they got over here. These shotguns. No, that's a Thompson. We'll have that. Yeah, we'll have that. Very much so we'll have that. Somebody put some fire on that 
Yeah, come in. Thanks, boys. I've just been um, sorting myself out with some decent oh, some ammo there. How long do you think you can hold out? Catch a bullet, you son. Right flank, somebody. Got one. Go on. Poke your head up. Got his arm. Oh, he's dead. Where's the other one? Well, there's more of them. There's a lot more. What's your language? Behind this statue, the boys are pushing on. That's a kill. These are good troops, aren't they? All right, man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. He may not know we're coming. Hold on, boys. Uh, okay. Let's see if they've got any Tommy guns and we get the... Yeah, we get the ammo. Oh, BAR. No, we're going in the building. A BAR may be a bit big to uh, wheel around the place. You're surrounded and your buddies are dead. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't know where you came from. But you walked into that. You never know. Okay. Oh. Hi, boys. Keep on going, Jack. Keep on going. Going to my love. Or something like that. Right. Here we go. Oh, don't shoot her, Jack. Oh, bugger. You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, Princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, Princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Too right. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. <laughs> What a moment. What? No, where's where's my Tommy gun? Where are you, damn it? Where's my gun gone? Oh. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. I see you. There he is. Blast him. Well, this is that. what I'm good at. Yeah, this is what we I'm good at apparently. Hello? the 
guns. Give it up, Chuck. I know you're there. Almost out. Need a new weapon. Uh, what have you got, boy? Let's go and see what these got. If we can traverse the stairs. Got some eye. Reload. <sighs> Where's my shotgun gone? Stop taking weapons away from me. Don't care if we're in the bathroom. Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, you son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. Second offer, <laughs> you sadistic bastard! <clears throat> what do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Wow, I really like Jack. Why can we have a Jack Calso simulator? Can we stamp on him again? Let's have a look in the little safe. Let's have a look at this. What's this? City of Los Angeles. Criminal intelligence report on Dr. Harlan J. Fontaine. Uh, he's implicated in the supply and distribution of narcotics in the greater LA County area. In his capacity as the clinical um, psychiatrist, he has dispensed large quantities of contraband morphine in the drug dealers and uses under the pretext of prescribing treatment for his patients. It is the opinion of this officer that Dr. Harlan Fontaine is a significant Smart. figure in the supply and distribution of narcotics in Los Angeles. This is your insurance. Uh, with close ties to the organized crime, I recommend that he be kept under close surveillance until such time that compensable legal brief can be assembled. Smart. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And what's the little blue the little green book? Ah. Oh, that's a hell of a payroll. Isn't it? And the money? No, okay, well, let's take the money. What was the newspaper? Suburban Redevelopment Fund promises ten thousand new homes. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. It's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says... It's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. Oh, no. Courtney, I what are you doing? Anymore, doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. 
All of your troubles are finally over. Oh, God. Oh, let them go. Let them drift away. Oh, man. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> uh, call me an ambulance already. You're an ambulance. I, was, I thought that's where we were going with that one. Um, anything else we need to look at? Oh. What's that? Ding dong, is that the book we need to read? I can get around your office chair, I'll have a read of this file. Johnstone, lawyer, or Sawyer. Some sold up. The others ah, obviously didn't know the did, sons of did they? would go to. It can't be stopped, Council! There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. <laughs> Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Damn, this has got good. <laughs> He's doing the sideways shuffle. Oh, and there it is, a polite invitation. Case closed. Clues friends, seven of seven. Questions correct, three of three. Oh, it's all vehicle damage. It's always vehicle damage, isn't it? Oh, God. Under 500 bucks, please. Yes. Valorous, five stars. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund has been dismantled the old-fashioned way. Nice! Oh, finally getting some justice for the old GIs. And I have to say, playing as Kelso is so much more fun than playing as Phelps. <laughs> I'm loving this. I hope you are too. Thank you so much again for all your support. Thank you so much to my patrons. I hope you enjoyed this and anyone else watching as well. Uh, we'll continue this next time. Thank you so much. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.